book one, we'll do a problem out of our first book. Let's do this problem. 11 times 36. The first thing we will do is write our problem as factors, shorthand, 11 over 36 up. Let's look at that. Eleven over thirty six up. We will write it longhand. Ten plus one over thirty plus six up. If we go over ten and stop before going another one and go up 30 before we go another 6 would be over 10 up 30 and we have identified our first piece. Here we can see our first piece. Over 10 up 30 we have our first piece we need it to be over 10 plus one more. Here we can see our other piece. Over one more would give us this rectangle right here. We will get that rectangle. We are now over 10 plus one. We must be up 30 plus 6. We're already up 30. We must come up 6 more. Notice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can see that piece. 6 by 10. over 10, up 6. Now I must fill in the corner. I have multiplied. I have built a rectangle. I built a rectangle so I could find the rectangle's other name. Its first name was over 11 up 6 and I also identified its first piece over 10 up 3. Now I can write down the amounts. 6 units, 6 bars of 10, 3 bars of 10, three square hundreds. My total amount is six units, nine bars of ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three hundreds. Book two. Let's do a problem in book two. First of all, we will write our factors shorthand. And we have one of our names for the rectangle. We will write our factors longhand. 20 plus 2 30 plus 4. Here we have our over and up distances. Over 20, up 30, we have identified our first piece. 
we will place our first piece down and notice it is very important that we are over 20 and up 30 and that we are not over 30 and up 20 over 20 up 30 let's come over here and also indicate that the numbers written this way is our over factor or over distance and up distance and let's identify our first piece over two bars of ten up three bars of ten we must be over twenty plus two twenty plus two we can see what that piece should be and we will get it twenty plus two we must be up four more units one two three four we can see what that piece should be we will get it now we must fill in the corner over two up four notice we can shift so that the units are in one column the tens in one column and the hundreds in a column and here we see the shift with our little boxes here how many units do we have we have two units four times two four times or eight how many tens do we have we have two four times two one two three four times and it's very important that we phrase it that way we have two we understand that they are bars we understand that they are tens but we have two of them four times two four times is eight how many do we have here here we can see we have two and it's very important that we do see that that we literally have two one two three times or six and we understand that those are tens and what do we have here here we can see that we have two we literally have two one two three times it's very important that we see that it's very important that we are looking at one two one two three times let's look at it again it's very important that we're seeing that we have two three times we have six and we know that those are six hundreds okay we know how to add we have eight units 14 bars which is the same as four bars and one square and there we have the seven squares we multiplied we built a rectangle we built a rectangle so we could find the other name of the rectangle over 22 up 34 book three we'll do a problem from book three we have the first name of our rectangle the factors name of our rectangle we have the distance over 112 and we have the distance up 11 and we could write that 112 over 
11 up in the parentheses, and we could also write it longhand. Here we would write it 100 plus 10 plus 2. That would be our distance over. Let's look at that a little closer. 100 plus 10 plus 2 over and 10 plus 2 up. Well, let's get the first piece. What would our first piece be if we went over 100 and up 10? Let's connect that over 100 and up 10. Okay. You should even be able to visualize that in your mind. You're coming way over 100 and up 10. Before we get the piece, however, let's make sure we do our notation over here. This is our over distance. This is our up distance. And our first piece is over 100 and up 10. Let's get the piece over 100 and up 10. Notice. We are over 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or 10 tens, and we are up 10, 110, over 100, up 10. We got our first piece over 100, up 10. Now we must also be over 10. Let's look here. We need to be over 10 more. 10 more. We can see what that piece is. Always trace your finger around the piece. 10. So that you see it before you ever get it. We came over Ten more. We also need to be over two more. Notice we must come over. And let's use something with a little color here so we can see. We must come over one, two more. We can see what that piece is, so we will come over two more. Okay. We got our first piece, we came over 10, we came over two more. How far up did we need to be? Of course we needed to be up 10 and we already went up 10, getting our first piece. We need to be up two more. We need to take this piece and extend the entire piece up two more units. We extended it up two more units. Here we can see that we need to extend this piece up two more units to bring the entire amount up two more units. I used my solid piece, so I will use two little ten bars to bring this up two. I must fill in the corner two by two. I multiplied. I built a rectangle. I built a rectangle so I could find the other name of my rectangle. My first name of the rectangle was the dimensions. 112 by, by is another way of saying over and up, 112 by 11. 112 over 11 up, or 112 by 11. Notice, I can shift my rectangles 
I see that my one rectangle is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles. The six smaller rectangles are referred to, the one, two, three, four, five, six smaller rectangles are referred to as partial products. Let's fill in our partial products and find the amount, the other name of our rectangle. Here we have two twice four units. Here we have one rectangle, one ten twice, one twice is two. Here I have one long hundred, one long hundred, which is made up of ten, ten bars, just like our square hundred. They are all made up, the long one and the square one are both made up of ten bars, ten bars. I have one long bar of a hundred, twice or two. I have two bars once, or two bars. I have one square once, one. I have one thousand bar once, one thousand. Again, two units, two tens, two long hundreds, two tens, one hundred, one thousand. Totally I have four units, four tens, three hundreds, one thousand. My answer is, or my other name for the rectangle is the amount 1,344. The other name that I was given was or is 112 over 11 up. I can also say that 112 by 11. Book 4. Let's do a problem from book 4. Here we have 6 times 101. We will rewrite our factors or our name of our rectangle, 6 by 101. We'll write it longhand. 6 over up. We will go 100 plus we will go up 0 tens plus we will go up one unit. Let's make our notation here. Okay, let's notate that that is up. We will go up, excuse me, we'll, we will go over 6 and up 101. Over 6, up 101. Our first piece is over 6, up 100. Let's look at that. We rewrote 6 times 101, 6 by 101, over 6, up 100. Do you have a visual picture of that? Let's also indicate our first piece here. Over 6, up 100. Here we indicated our first piece. Over 6, up 100. Can you see it? Well, let's get it out. Over 6, up 100. Now notice, had we placed our piece down this way, it would have been incorrect. This would have been over 100 and up 6. It must be over 6, up 
100. Now that we are over 6, up 100, let's continue to go over the amount we need to. We look and there is no new or second amount that we need to go over. We have gone over the entire distance required. Let's go up the additional amounts. First of all, how many tens must we go up? And at this point it's very important that we start speaking in terms of hundreds up, tens up, units up. We will go up zero tens. We must go up just one unit. We can see that to go up just one unit, we need to place just one little piece or rectangle on the top that is over six and up one. How many units do we have? We can see that we have six units. And we should have shifted it before we recorded it so that we would have our units column, tens column, hundreds column. We have six units. The tens are missing. There are zero tens. There are, however, six hundreds. And these are the six long hundreds. We multiplied, we built a rectangle, we built a rectangle so we could find the other name, the amount. Our other name, or the amount, is 600 and 6.